Insert generic greeting here. Hey guys, today I have a bit more of a serious topic to talk about that's been on my mind for a very long time, so let's just jump right into it. I feel like for the beginning of this video, we first of all have to decode the term privilege, because a lot of people feel either attacked or feel like as if it's meant to be an attack when they get called privileged, but it's not. As a matter of fact, most people are privileged in some way, shape or form. And that doesn't make you a bad person. Privilege isn't the root of all evil. However, it is important to realize your privilege and what matters is how you act upon it. See, for example, I'm born in Germany, a country with very good living standards, into your average stable family. Meanwhile, I am also white and I am male. There's so much privilege coming with all of that. And that simply means there are certain hardships that I don't have to face. There are certain obstacles that are simply not there. And there are certain opportunities that I have easier access to. That doesn't make me a bad person. I'm not calling myself a bad person by calling myself privileged. It's basically just me stating a fact. Let me elaborate a little bit on that. For example, my family is doing well enough financially so they can pay my apartment while I'm studying at university. That makes me able to also work at the same time, which then makes me able to travel with the money I am making from working. All of that is privilege in its core value. A lot of people do not have that possibility. A lot of people barely come by while studying, even in Germany where we don't have, you know, study fees. However, privilege can lead to issues depending on how people act upon it. Especially if they feel like their privilege is just their inherent right. And that's a massive issue we see currently in the world situation. Especially in the terms of traveling. And I'm not even condemning all traveling right now. I mean, I've been on a handful of short road trips on my own. I think if you're traveling responsibly, especially in your own vehicle, and you're going to places that aren't entirely crowded, you're fine off. But then again, even here we face the issue of privilege. Because some people, for example, would only be able to afford going somewhere by public transport. No matter if that's because they couldn't afford the fuel to go somewhere, or they don't even have a car or a driver's license to begin with. Also because those things, for example, can be very expensive. And I think that's perfectly fine. If you have to rely on public transport and you're traveling by public transport, as long as you act responsibly, that is still okay, in my book at least. What's not okay, however, is going to super crowded beach parties right now, for example. And that's where that whole discussion should actually begin. A couple of months ago, I had a debate on that very topic with somebody on a German app where you can talk anonymously. That person has been to like a dozen countries in the past month, and he kept saying how he can't be in Germany while it's on lockdown because it's so unbearable for him. And so he was planning to, for example, go to Ukraine next. When I then called him out on his privilege, he just went, the flights are only $50, that's not privilege. And I feel like that statement alone shows a couple of problems. First of all, in my opinion, this really paints a picture of how if you grow up in privilege and you're living in privilege all of your life, you're not even going to realize that the things you're, you know, used to are in fact privileged. Secondly, I also think this person has a disregard in the value of money because there's a lot of people that have to live off of $50 in a month. And I was in that situation myself, so I know what that's like. And even though I put myself in that situation back then, the thing is, I feel like that particular choice of words saying the flights are only $50 is really disrespectful to people who are struggling financially in any way, shape or form. Originally, when I conceived this video idea a couple of months ago, it would have been fueled with a lot more anger and emotion. However, that is not how you reach someone. You can't make someone understand what you mean by calling them privileged if you keep shouting at them how privileged they are. So I'm trying to lead a calm, collected conversation on this instead. And don't get me wrong, I still think there's a lot of people in the wrong here. Like, for example, the beach party shouldn't happen. And people who claim that traveling by airplane is their inherent birth-given right are also in the wrong in my book. And again, in no way, shape or form do I say that privileged people are bad or that everybody who travels right now is bad. My overall message is just 
be responsible, know your privilege, and don't be awful to other people. But that's all I had to say today. I hope I could make my viewpoints clear, and we'll be back to regular programming very soon. So I hope to see you around next time. 